and it's been one of them before but it was about a year ago when I did it last time and I figured why not do it again um so it's February is my uh, birthday month it's actually my birthday tomorrow as I'm filming this um so last year I did this as like a little bit of a treat for myself and I thought I'm gonna do it again um because I really enjoyed it last time I thought it was a great idea it was a really good experience and I got a couple of really nice things from it as well so it is I'm just gonna grab it it is Stitch Fix so for those of you who are not familiar with Stitch Fix they are an online styling service that helps you find your style update your wardrobe so when you first sign up what you do is you're presented with an in-depth questionnaire um, or a style profile. So it asks things like, of course, your size, your preferred fit, height, weight, your proportions, um, and what areas you want to show on cover. You're also asked if there are any categories that you want to avoid, so any particular types of clothing that you don't particularly wear, um, <clears throat> if there are any styles that you like, um, any fits that you like, so do you prefer baggy, do you prefer tight, um, when, where you usually shop, what, clo what clothes shops you usually go to for your clothes, um, how adventurous you want to be in terms of do you want to stay in your comfort zone or do you want to try something that you maybe wouldn't ordinarily consider, what your budget is of course, and then finally you're also presented with a series of photos of different outfits and you rate those outfits as to whether or not it's something that you would wear. That just gives them a bit of an idea about your type of style, the type of things that you like. Once you've done this, you're then told that a stylist will put some options together for you um, and you will be able to preview and choose from a selection um, or you can opt out of the preview if you want a surprise. Um, you're sent five items in the box. So basically what you can do is you can also leave a note for your stylist with this particular thing that you want um, to explore. So for example, if you've got a particular event coming up and you're wanting um, outfits for that, or if you're you know wanting to update your work wardrobe, things like that, you can leave notes for your stylist in there. Um, and they do, from my experience at least, I realise I've only had one experience so far, but I have, um, I did preview my items, so I do have an idea of what's in there. And they've listened to what I've asked for again this time around. Um, but essentially, you get an email a few days before your payment goes out, a few days before your, uh, your box is dispatched with a selection of 10 items and you can either pick five that you would like to try or if you prefer to leave it as a surprise just don't preview your fix and your stylist will select five items for you um, so essentially it's free to sign up but what you do is you pay a 10 pound fee and that is a stylist fee if you then decide to keep any of the items in your box that 10 pounds is deducted from the final total um, you also get a 20% discount on all of the items if you end up keeping all of them. Uh, and you have a seven day try on period. So you get them for seven days and then you send back what you don't want. They send you a prepaid posted label. So all you have to do is package them, package up the items that you're not keeping, place the prepaid posted label on and drop it off at your local post office. I think they can arrange for you to have it picked up as well by, um, you know, Hermes, not Hermes anymore, are they? Every, um, and other delivery companies like that, if it's easier for you, you know, mobility wise or work wise, etc. cetera. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the basics of it. You can also do every single day on their website. If you log into your account, they have like a, a style mix up. So you can kind of rate some different outfits and items as well. And the more you do that, again, the more of an idea they get of your style. You may also recognize this jumper. So this actually was one of the items that I got in my last fix last year. I love this. I wear it all the time. I wear it with everything. It's really comfortable. It's really soft. It's really warm. Um, and yeah, I'm very, very glad that it was sent. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna get straight into it. What I will do, what I did last time, um, and I'm hoping it's going to work out um, as well as it did last time, is I'm also going to be trying on the items for you as well. Now, what I asked for this time, um, a little bit different, because last time I asked for kind of some different items, I tend to live in dresses, um, and even though I'm wearing a, a jumper and a skirt today, 
but normally it's mainly dresses and things that I wear. So I asked for some kind of different options. I'm not really a fan of jeans, so I always put that in my uh, in my note to my stylist just so that they don't send me any jeans. Uh, but this time around, what I asked for was sort of some transitional pieces for that awkward time. If those of you who live here in the UK will know, our weather is unpredictable at the best of times. However, this kind of time of year where it's moving from from winter to spring, we can sometimes get some days where it's really nice uh, and other days where it's breathing cold and it's like it's winter again. Um, so I kind of asked for some transitional pieces that I could wear whether or not it's warm or cold and I could like layer up or layer down depending on the weather. Um, and I'm looking forward to trying everything on. So you get a little envelope here and it says your stylist thinks these would look great on you. Um, you have your prepaid postage label inside there. You also have a little invoice here that lets you know about the items inside your box. So it tells you the size, it tells you the make um, and the, what is it, like the, the name of the item or, or whatever like that. Uh, and it also tells you the total um, that, would, that it would cost. Um, so that's, <laughs> that's upsetting. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm sure... Um, if I like everything, I will find a way. But my stylist this time is Charlotte. Uh, I don't think it was Charlotte last time. I think you can request the same stylist again if you like how a particular stylist chooses clothes for you. Um, I don't. I don't mind. Um, I'm happy for anybody to to style me. I'm quite open to things. Um, but yeah, you have your little invoice here, so it gives you an idea of what items you have. And then there's your little book here and what this does is it gives you some ideas of how to style your items and there's a little note from your stylist as well so it says hi Gemma how are you thank you so much for your feedback and for taking the time to preview your fix I'm so pleased you liked some of the options that we chose for you as I say I selected five items from my preview um, <clears throat> so then she goes on to tell me a little bit about each of the items and how to style them so I'm not going to spoil that but what we have now <clears throat> if I can just grab this really tightly packed just really tightly packed in there so it says hey give 15 pounds and get 15 pounds so that's basically like a referral thing that they do and um, if you can refer somebody and they will get 15 pounds off and you will also get the same and so I'm gonna turn this round, hang on. And then we'll pull the items out. So I think what I'm gonna do, because one of them is like an outerwear item, so I'm gonna try that one on when I've got one of the other items on and I'll just leave that on and, and show you the, the two things. So let's go for this first. So this is the Bridget from, it's from And A, I think, um, that's how you pronounce it. And this, there's the label. This is actually the same brand as this jumper that I'm wearing now, but this is the button down rib dress mini. So when I can find the top, there we go. So here it is. So it's a lovely kind of navy color. And um, it's got a little, when I can find it, a little belt on the back there as well short sleeved and the length looks like it's exactly the type of length I would go for. It kind of flares out a little bit at the bottom as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and try this on. I'll come back onto the camera, show you what it looks like and then I'll show you the pictures um, that Charlotte has suggested in terms of styling this particular item. So give me one minute. So here is what it looks like on. It is a nice length, it's the kind of length I like in a dress, just sort of above the knee. Um, I'm quite a fan of the fit around the bottom, not so sure about the fit around the midline, I'll be honest. Um, so I'm just going to kind of move around, so there's the tag still on, so just ignore that. Um, there's a little, I think this is cute, uh, but yeah, in terms of fit around here, I'm not too sure. I think it's because of the material. Um, that not that I'm saying that I have <laughs> that I'm like fat by any means or anything um, or that I, I have any kind of issues here but I think sometimes even the we all have hang-ups don't we and I think sometimes 
certain fabrics or certain styles don't always look the way we would hope they will look on us. Um, but in terms of the outfit suggestions, I'll just move this bag up a second. <laughs> um, here is what is suggested for this particular piece. So a denim jacket and some little, I think they're like little slip-on um, shoes or just simply a, a nice little bag and some slingback sandals, uh, which I think would look very cute, obviously, in the spring or the summer. So I'll leave this on while I'm showing you the next piece. And then of course we will, um, I'll be going off camera again, changing into that and um, kind of moving from there. So let's grab this one now. This feels really soft. Okay. So this one, I believe from looking at, yeah, this is from Market and Spruce. And this is the Rochelle three quarter sleeve half placket casual jersey shirt dress. So that's a bit of a mouthful. Let's see, it's such a nice material. It's really, really soft. And I'm just trying to find the top. There we go. So here we have the actual dress. This looks like it might be a little bit more kind of oversized at the bottom. Maybe it might be a little bit better of a, a fit. Um, I love the print as well. I'm not normally a fan of like plaid or tartan or anything, but that's actually a really nice print and a really nice colour scheme as well. Again, we've got the belt on there and it looks like it might be longer sleeved too. So I'm going to go off camera again and I'm going to try this on. So I'll be swapping, <laughs> swapping outfits and I will see you all shortly. So here it is on. Again, nice length. I like the length. I've also discovered it has pockets which I didn't notice before. Again, a little tie around so you can accentuate that waist as much or as little as you want to. The sleeve length fits pretty much perfectly on my arms as well. So I'm quite petite, I'm um, five foot two, so I'm quite short. Uh, so I often find that sleeve lengths and leg lengths are quite long on me, um, but this is the perfect length, which is another reason why I wear dresses all the time because you know, dresses don't have leg lengths. Um, but yeah, I like this better than the other one. I'm still not 100% sure about it. This is like the fabric is gorgeous. Um, but I'm not 100% sure if it looks right on me. Like, obviously, I will be trying these on properly later on as well and taking pictures and all of that sort of thing. So once I can actually get myself in front of a mirror, it's very different doing it on a camera. Um, but once I can get myself in front of a mirror, I'm sure I'll be able to make more of a decision. Um, but I definitely like the colours, the pattern and the fabric. Again, the fabric, I can't get enough, it's gorgeous. Um, so let's show you the styling suggestions for this one. And I'm back again. <laughs> so let me just uh, fold this up. So the styling suggestions for this one. Um, so again, a cute little cardigan with some uh, slip-on trainers or again just a little bag and some kind of loafer type shoes I think they are and um, so again a couple of really nice ideas and a lot of different ideas for styling as well and um, so forgot to mention as well so this dress that I tried on first um, so this one is uh, 45 pounds this one that I'm wearing currently uh, the Market and Spruce, this one's £49.50. So we will go for the next item. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one next, maybe. I don't know what to do. <laughs> we'll go with this. So this one is the next item and this is from Kylie or Kaylee, I think. And this is the Lilith Faux Wrap Dress. Uh, this is worth uh, £57, so nice little print there. I'll just open this out in a second. Again, just trying to find the top. There we go. So this is what it looks like. Again, it's got those little, uh, little belt, the longer sleeves, and it's got that, as you say, that faux wrap. So it looks like a wrap dress, but it actually isn't. I have a dress very similar to this. Um, that I got from somewhere else, I can't remember. Um, but it looks again like it's going to be the perfect length 
the, the print as well is very spring summer-ish so floral it's kind of like a you probably can't see on camera but it's kind of like a, a navy colored blue as well it's not black as it may come across on camera so i will go off and try this on again so i'll be switching again and i'll see you all in a second so here it is on so this is exactly the type of thing that i would usually wear what I also didn't notice when I was holding it up to show you is, is actually, if you come closer, there's a little press stud just here. So you can obviously choose how open you want it to be. Um, so you can have it a little bit more open if you like, or you can pop the press stud together and it's a little bit more modest depending on what you're wearing it for. I'd tie this at the front, but of course you could probably tie it at the back. I just did it at the front for convenience. Um, but yeah, I love the length as well. I love the fabric, how it hangs off. It's not too tight, but equally it's not too loose. I'm very fussy when it comes to the fit. Um, I don't like things too oversized because of, again, how petite I am. Sometimes oversized products drown me and I look ridiculous. <laughs> I wish I was one of those girls that could pull off oversized outfits, but unfortunately I can't. Um, but equally, things that are too tight sometimes do make me feel a little bit self-conscious um, because again, even though I, I work very hard on, on keeping myself in, in good shape, I still have those lumps and bumps as we all do because we're all normal and human. Um, so sometimes, you know, if it's too tight, it does make me feel like it's accentuating every little lump and bump that I do have. Um, but this again lovely lovely fit um, and I'll come closer and show you the outfit suggestions for this one hello <laughs> so we have this time uh, a little denim jacket with some sandals or again just with a bag and some heels some little wedge I think they're wedge oh no they're not quite wedge um, but yeah some little kind of summery heels there so what I'm going to do next, I think, is show you the outerwear item, just because it'll be easy to show you over the top of this. So let's grab it. Now this is, from looking at, again, this, it's the it's by Morvet, and I believe Morvet are Stitch Fixers, one of Stitch Fixers in-house brands, so it's kind of exclusive to them. But this is their Lily Edge to Edge cardigan, and this is £42. So gorgeous colour and then if we open it up it's a really gorgeous material as well so so soft and lovely um, so here is the cardigan itself looks like it's a nice length it'll probably come down to just probably below my waist a little bit and um, so I'm just going to slip off to the side and pop this on obviously I won't take as long as I did with the others um, but I just want to make sure I'm getting this on properly before I, I come back and show you um, but this I'll go and be back in a second okay so here it is on so as you can see it does come down to just below my waist and it's a nice color it's a nice fit i don't mind with outerwear items with jumpers and things i i don't mind them being a little bit oversized um because obviously that's the layering effect isn't it and of course i asked for pieces that i could layer and things that i could use to layer with and of course i don't necessarily know as i would wear it with this particular dress however I just wanted to show it to you and this was probably the best option for showing it um, but it's a nice length on me as well because again I don't like things too long because of how petite I am things that are too long tend to drown me um, so it is a nice length um, and I like that it doesn't have a fastening either so you can kind of keep it you can hold it around yourself if you like you can secure it with a belt if you wanted to or just have it kind of open makes it easier to take on and off as well of course if the weather changes which it does have a habit of doing quite frequently here in the uk um, so i'm going to come up to you again and show you the styling suggestions for the cardigan okay so Styling suggestions for the cardigan, quite simple. Um, a pair of little, they look like cropped jeans, a jumper and some trainers for a really casual look. Or you could go again for a dress, a bag and some flat sandals, which is probably more of the outfit I would go for. I'm not a big fan of the of jeans um, itself. Um, so we're on to the last item now. 
I got something very, very similar in the last Stitch Fix and absolutely fell in love with it. Uh, I wear it all the time. <laughs> Again, I wish, I, to be fair, I should have put it on, but obviously I had the jumper on instead. Um, but it is from Editor's Cut, which again, I believe is one of their in-house brands too. And it's the Margot V-neck smocked shoulder jumpsuit. And this is worth 52 pounds. I'm just gonna open it now. But here it is. Look at that print. Is that not just, just the most beautiful print? It's just gorgeous. And again, such nice material, very similar material to the other jumpsuit I had. So the other jumpsuit is like blue with like yellow and white flowers on it. A little bit similar to this kind of pattern, but in blue, like light blue in the background and the flowers are like yellow and white. Um, but this, I'm hoping among hope, <laughs> I like uh, because I love my other one. So I can't see why I wouldn't like this one. And um, the other one as well, Again, with jumpsuits, it is quite difficult for me because again, I'm quite short. And so I often find that jumpsuits are quite long on me, but the other one that I have is the, literally the perfect length. If I could have asked for the perfect length jumpsuit, it would have been that one. And um, so I'm hoping it's the same with this. So again, I will disappear off for a couple of minutes and I'll be back with this on. Okay, so here it is on. Again, perfect length on me. And again, we have pockets in there. <laughs> it's a nice elasticated round the waist as well so it's kind of nice for those days where you may be a little bit bloated or you've eaten a bit too much um, it kind of stretches really nicely um, and it's very forgiving on that midline which I know is a problem area for quite a lot of us I like the length of the sleeves and the fact that they're quite loose too uh, you could obviously layer this up or down with anything that you wanted to as well the other one that I have, um, it has a tie around the waist, but this one doesn't. Um, so this is just how it comes. But again, I adore this print. I think it's gorgeous and it's very summery, very um, very spring summery, I guess. Um, so again, I'm gonna come and show you what the options are for styling, or at least the suggestions. Okay, so the suggestions we have are very simply, just a little hat and some sandals for those warmer days or on the days where it's a little bit chillier a little cardigan and some boots so i love that they've even taken into account the fact that i want to be able to layer these pieces and um, i think that's just amazing that they've actually listened to me <laughs> and not just thrown a few items together um, that don't really make a lot of sense uh, but yeah that's all of the items and um, yeah i love this so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back, take this off, put back my original clothes on, and then I'll come back and have a bit more of a talk to you about all of these items. So back in a minute. Okay, so I am back in my original clothes. Um, that was a very quick try on, of course. Um, I'm gonna go into my room and uh, try everything on properly, look in the mirror and, and get all the kind of get all of the angles that we girls like to do when we're trying clothes on um, and take some pictures as well for the review that I'll be doing as I always do. Just from first impressions, I think I'm definitely going to keep the jumpsuit and I think I'm definitely going to keep the dress, the last dress that I tried on. Um, not sure yet about the cardigan. Um, uh, I'd like it. I like it. I like the colour. I like the material. I like the fit. Um, but I'm not sure, I'm just not sure about it yet. And the other two dresses, I'm, I'm not sure either, just because of the fit. Um, but again, I'll probably be able to get a better idea of it once I'm able to look in the mirror. It's very different doing it on camera. As I know I mentioned um, before, I can't see myself properly. Um, and obviously I can't really, I can look down, but it doesn't give me the all the answers and the information that I need to make that decision. Um, so I'll be going off and doing that. Um, in terms of the, the prices and things now, um the total order this is with if i was to keep everything just hypothetically with the 10 pound deduction and the 20 percent discount for that you get if you keep everything it would be 186 pounds 40. um now one of the things i know a lot of people have mentioned with this is that some of the items are a little pricey you can let them know what your budget is however <laughs> it's you have to understand that it's um not Primark budget, shall we say. Um, but 
you're also getting really good quality items. As I say, I've had this a year now and I've had the other jumpsuit a year now. They're both still absolutely pristine, like they look brand new. Um, there's nothing wrong with them at all. You know, there's been no no tears, no no holes, no kind of bobbling on the jumper, um, you know, no issues with it whatsoever. And they wash really well as well, um, which I think is important. However, you know, with a lot of the, the cheaper shops, it's nice, and I love Primark, don't get me wrong, I love a good Primark haul, um, but you often find that you get what you pay for. Um, so while I appreciate that, um, and the fact that yes, you know, for example, the cardigan, £42, probably wouldn't pay that for a cardigan ordinarily. Um, but I think with, with Stitch Fix, what you're getting as well is you're getting the experience, you're getting shop shopping delivered to you um so i appreciate we have online shopping but you have a stylist who's actually selecting pieces for you based on your style based on your needs based on what you ask them for um and i don't really think that's an experience that can be replicated elsewhere of course there are personal shoppers in physical shops as well um but again it's this the comfort of your own home and you pay 10 pounds if you don't like it all you've lost 10 pounds and that's it um whereas you know if you pay 10 pounds and you like everything you've got yourself a whole new wardrobe um i think if you want to as well if you're wanting a full outfit i'm sure you can ask them for that i know they do stock shoes jewelry accessories and things like that as well i haven't received any as yet although i'm not ruling it out in terms of uh, future fixes because i'm sure i'll be getting another one um, but yeah, I really am impressed again with my second um, second fix. I will quickly recap all the items. Of course, I won't be putting them up all back on again, so I'll just very quickly hold them up um, and give you a brief recap of them. Uh, but then, of course, I'll be doing a written review and everything, as I always do. And Instagram, all of that, so keep your eyes peeled for that over the coming weeks. So, let's recap, shall we? So we have... So this was the Bridget button down rib dress mini and this was worth £45. Some of these buttons do open I believe as well um, but I just kind of slipped it on over my head so <laughs> fold that over. Then there was this one, just grab this one. So this is the three quarter sleeve shirt dress with it's the material I cannot even describe the material it's just it is gorgeous material if I could keep it just for that I would 100% oh, let's just put that up there lovely we then had I can grab it the Lilith faux wrap dress oh yeah so the um the three quarter sleeve dress was um £49.50. <laughs> I lost where I was. Um, so yeah, this one is uh, £57. And then we had the cardigan, which is the edge to edge cardigan and that is £42. And finally, the Margot V-neck smocked shoulder jumpsuit so that is 40 uh, no not 42 pounds at all it's 52 pounds <laughs> looking at the wrong ones so pop those back in the box we'll just pop them back in because they'll be coming back out again in a second and then of course you also get your little um stylist notes and things that tell you a little bit more about how to style everything you have your invoice and you also have your prepaid um, pre label for sending everything back. So that is everything that I was going to show you from my second Stitch Fix box. Again, really impressed with the service. I think it's a great idea as well. Um, definitely something that I'm looking to get more in the future too. Might make it like a quarterly thing maybe for each season. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. Um, but definitely enjoyed doing this again, nice little treat for myself for my birthday as well. 
Um, so that's everything. Let me know as well which your favourite piece was, which you think I should keep and which you think I shouldn't keep. Uh, if there's any in particular that fit your specific style. Also let me know if you have any questions. I will of course be in the comments to answer anything. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.